So now we're facing a different kind of a golf shot. I've got an uphill slope, a pin that's very tight to the fringe, so not a lot of green to work with, closely mown grass. A lot of people call this a false front, where the ball kind of gets up to the green and then rolls all the way back. So now you have a couple of choices. You can decide to take your sand or lob wedge and hit a high, soft pitch shot. But if you miss hit it a little bit and it doesn't get there, it's rolling right back to your feet and you got the same shot again. I'm going to give you a little bit safer option. I want you simply to hit this like a chip and run shot. Take a seven iron and just bump it up the slope, chip and run. I'm going to play this just like I play a chip shot, ball in the middle or even slightly back in the stance, weight a little forward, hands a little forward, and I'm just going to bump it into the slope. You can see the ball hit once or twice in the slope and then ran up to the green. That ball is about a foot away from the hole, almost knocked it in. And as you can see, it took a very small range of motion. A chip shot is a much less complex motion than a pitch. So you have an easier way of doing it and a safer way of doing it. If you're a great pitcher of the golf ball, you have the option of hitting that, that other higher, softer shot. But in most cases, the bump and run is all you need. Let's take a look at this shot from the face-on point of view so you can really see how simple it is. I'm just hitting a basic chip and run shot. I'm putting the ball in the middle of my stance. You can even play it a little bit back if you want. Put your weight about 60% on your left foot. Move the handle a little forward. That's going to create an angle in your right wrist, which you want to maintain throughout the shot. Ball in the middle, weight forward, little chip and run. Notice when I finish my swing here, I still have that same angle in the back of my right wrist. That shows that I haven't flipped it or scooped the ball.